NVR similarities in this question um, what you'll have to do is you'll, you'll be given a special group um, so you can see down here is what they're referring to you'll be given a, a group of objects or shapes and what we'll ask you to do is find one of the options, one of the answer options that has that is similar to it basically and um, again very similar to odd one out like our last video um, it will always be under a common rule uh, so in this one instead of finding a common rule between all four of the options what you have to do is find a common rule in the special group that they give you and then you have to see which one of these options actually has the same common rule and will fit into this group so actually it's very much the same skills that it's testing you on but just in a different format so if we quickly look at the example and see what they're asking us to do the special group here it says which one which one which one among the test shape belongs in the special group so i'm going to look for a, a common rule between the special group first of all i see that all of them have a triangle and so that's immediately something that stands out to me they also all have a circle actually they all have the same shapes basically they have a circle, a triangle, an arrow, and a line. What other similarities do they have in here? The arrow doesn't seem to be pointing in any particular direction. Uh, sometimes you have some of these options being grey. All of them have... Okay, so this is a grey, grey, black. grey, black, black. Black, black, grey. But, okay, so the only one... The only colour that stays consistent between all three of these is they always have a black triangle um, so that might be another rule um, so I mean the, the two I've got so far is that they have the same shapes so they always have to have those four shapes and they always have a black triangle so I'm just going to look at the options and see if I can cancel any of them out from that all of these have the same shapes it looks like they've got the triangle and the other three shapes test shape C does not have a black triangle so I'm gonna cross that one out uh, what else have we got here? So what's different between A and B? This is, this will give you give me a hint, sorry, as to what I should be looking at for another similarity there. Triangle is a lot smaller in B. They've got three grey shapes here and only one grey shape here. That I don't think is any I don't think there's any difference there. The arrow actually. So I've just looked at this side, and it looks like the arrow is pointing always to the triangle, right? And so is so it is in test shape B as well, but in test shape A, it's pointing away from it. Um, so that would be a, the second part of the rule, probably. So obviously, the first part is that they've got all of the same shapes. Second part is that they've got the black triangle, and the third part is actually that their arrow has to be pointing towards the triangle, and that create creates the whole rule that makes anything in here similar to each other, and that will be a good reason for us to choose B. If we actually look at what the answers have said, black triangle and arrow pointing towards the triangle. Yeah, same thing. And choose one test shape from the, yeah, this is just instructions. But yeah, that's basically it. You want to be breaking down different rule sets that could be in here. What you see me do is once I've sort of exhausted what rules I can think of, I'll look at the answer options and see what's different between the answer options because that might give me another idea as to what rule set I can use. Um, in the main thing um, actually while I was looking at the options I just looked back at it and then I saw that okay actually these are all pointing in the same direction as I saw this and that gave me the idea basically but yeah uh, same thing here you can use the mnemonic if, you, if you're stuck for ideas so once I've tried lots of different rules and I can't really think of anything else you want to go to this mnemonic and go for it systematically like I, like I always say this is not something you want to go to as the first step you want to try just on your own just with your eyes because that'll be quicker and then after that you can try this thing if, you, if you're if you really struggling and almost all of the time you can actually find an answer just by using these properties because it will only be the one of these right so let's see another example question actually quickly before we go on to that this little section here is quite important as well and we went over this in the odd one out video but the same thing can happen here where you might have a rule a rule system 
instead of just a similarity and as you can see here the system is basically is when they have two different similarities and they sort of merge them together so and then it sort of makes a more unique similarity so there's nothing actually similar between the number of shapes here because this is five circles this is four circles this is five sides this is four sides but if you look at the similarity of how they're related to each other um, these two both have four and these two both have five so you can say the similarity is that they're always the same so it's like a third person's perspective um, but that's just something to be wary of is a rule system if you can't think of anything look for a rule system and actually in this one it's a pretty complex one I think this one's gonna have a rule system um, but let's have a go at it so if we just don't look at anything else I'll just walk you through how I do it myself first of all they all have cylinders and my eyes immediately jump to E where it doesn't have a cylinder it's got like this rounded square so I'm just gonna cancel that out very quickly what else I see is they've always got four um, diamonds and actually because they've always got like the same amount of shapes but a different a different shape right so they've got four diamonds they're, they're in different positions though right so there's no similarity between the position of the shapes but they are in different positions that might mean there's something there same thing with the with the cylinders some of them are different colors some of them are striped um, and, and the top shape is also different so there really isn't any other similarity here apart from the fact that they always have like the same shapes showing up but they're in different orientations um, what I'm gonna assume though what I'm gonna assume though what I'm gonna assume though is that um, oh, I can't find my mouse there it is is that there is a rule system in play there so so there might be a reason as to why it's striped maybe striped means it's gonna be a different shape or a different diamond format or maybe blue means something you know like something something like that right what I'm gonna first do is just from what I've figured out already there is I figured out they always have to have four diamonds and they always have to have a cylinder um, I'm gonna cancel out some some more options because I can see here B has six diamonds so it can't be that and D has six diamonds as well so it can't be that um, so I'm left with this so again I'm thinking and looking for a rule system here and um, if I can't find one then it's probably I probably have to go back to what I was doing before which is um, the different properties so if we quickly look at here um, this is gray and this is gray so you'd sort of expect something similar um, so I see that you got this sort of format here and when it's blue it's this way so that might be a rule so if we look at the options well okay so this is like that and this is like that okay so that would make me think that I should rule out um, C because it's not following the rule actually though I've just realized I think it's not really a good enough reason because this shading is different right so in my opinion I can't really relate these two the color and, and of these two are different actually I think the color itself it might be different no they're, they're pretty similar they're pretty similar but yeah I was looking for a rule system between the colors but because it's got shading on top of it I'm not gonna go with that one what I will say though I think um, is this shape at the top is a half half semicircle like sorry three-quarter circle immediately obviously that looks different but I need a way to describe why it's different and I see that these are all regular shapes and a regular shape will have a there we go so what I see here is that they all have a line of symmetry down the middle and that's actually one of the options if we scroll back up here you can see here is the second set of features that you want to remember it's mops after you've tried never never eat snacks never eat snacks at a picnic or what was it never sneak snacks into a crowded picnic then you can try mops and you can see here symmetry is one of the options there so actually instead of looking for a rule system I think I was a bit mistaken there looking for a rule system because I didn't really find one uh, there is a more simple rule where the top shape just has to have a line of symmetry down the middle and that gives us the answer of C after we've obviously eliminated everything else and I mean not A because it doesn't have a line of symmetry down the middle um, but yeah option, so what does it say all of the options of yeah I think this is just doing the exact same thing 
and yeah, you get to the same idea where it's a vertical line of symmetry and you come down to C. Um, so we got some questions after that. I'm going to choose a random one and go through it in the exact same way I just did to one of these and hopefully that that is helpful. So I've chosen the very last question, question 20, and um, I'm going to go through it systematically the same way. In this one, it looks like it's only given us two, shape, two shapes in the special group. It's the same format basically, we still have to find a similarity between them two. So immediately I see that there's two hearts, so I'm assuming that that is one of the rules. But if I look at one, all of the options, they also all have two hearts, so it won't really help me. What else I see in there is obviously the shape that we've got here. It's that, um, I don't know what that shape is called, but it's got these rounded corners. And again, that's not going to help me because all of these have the same same shape. Another option I see is that they always have these lines. So there's one, two, three lines in here, and there's two lines in there. And that really isn't a rule in itself because there are different number of lines, but what I do see is the hearts are always separated by a line so that might be a rule see if we can cancel anything out from there it doesn't look like it no uh, okay so now I'm sort of stuck a bit for options you know I've tried everything I've in my arsenal I've tried lots of different features but the best thing to do from here let me just go back to the mnemonic and see if we can never, sorry never sneak snacks into a crowded picnic so if we if we try these out so this is obviously number shape size that's two sorry total that's angle that is um, color and that is pan so if we we've already tried numbers we can cancel that out we've tried shapes there's no similarities in shapes we've tried tr we tried size um, so we can cancel that out we've tried total I mean there's total number of lines total number of um, hearts nothing nothing really there that we have found and uh, we've tried angled we haven't tried angled that actually we can look at the angles of the of the lines so we've got some 90 degrees here 90 degree angles um, really there's not really anything else here we can find we've obviously got some 90 degrees here um, they are always either straight or vertical sorry horizontal or vertical but actually from that I might actually cancel out B and D because these have got diagonal lines and that could be like the angle of the line so we've sort of used that one up to cancel some of these out color there's nothing to do with color in here and pattern again nothing to do with pattern in here so we've just used off the whole mnemonic we found some luck with angle but we've only cancelled out two but once we've done that you want to move on to the second mnemonic which is mops so that's movement orientation um position and symmetry or you could say placement and symmetry movement isn't very applicable to this because that's more for a series question where you're sort of moving from left to right so i'm not going to use movement orientation i don't see anything what i could look at is the orientation of the hearts so I can see here that these two are like straight and then these two are diagonal. Really, I don't think that gives us a similarity at all. So I'm not going to go with orientation. Position of the hearts or placement of the hearts. Again, they are, so there's always one above the other. So you can see if you draw a line between here, there's always one above the other. Mm, let's see if we can, well actually that does let us cancel out E. So we've, again, we've, we've got one more. We've cancelled out more from, from placement. Um, so we've used two of them already. But I think it does, I don't think it cancels anything else out. So we've last last option we've got here is symmetry, and this is probably going to be the answer here. This is probably going to get get us the answer. So we want to look at different angles of symmetry here, basically. And what can we what can we look at here? So you've got the symmetry of the boxes where the hearts are in. So it looks like. These are always symmetrical, and actually, you can see the same thing here. Although, although including the hearts, it isn't symmetrical. Without the hearts, it is. So, I think a better way to describe it is the boxes that hold the heart. They are symmetrical. So let's have a look at the answer options to see if that gives us any luck on the final two, because we're left with two options. 
and oh right okay so none of these actually match it what I might think here is maybe I've made a mistake actually I'm gonna rub these out so I see mmm that's interesting well what I'm seeing here is that D matches my rule for symmetry but it didn't match my rule for the angles so if we go back to where we were before, what I had was I had cancelled out all of these and obviously I, I, don't, I, was, I was only left with one option which was symmetry um, and I can't come up with a rule from symmetry to decipher between A and C because none of them have any, any symmetrical lines or something like that so the reason why after that point what I do is I'll most likely go back and look at what I might have cancelled out and then try and apply this rule of symmetry back onto it so yeah as soon as I apply this rule of symmetry actually I get the option straight away and I can cancel out everything else apart from D uh, in the sense that these have the same sized boxes on which the heart is held in but what you can see there is I've gone through a whole long-winded process of trying all of these different different features and what it did was it gave me no real answer, meaning I have to go back, um, cross out some of the features I thought might have been the rule. For example, this diagonal rule. I thought, basically there's no diagonals in here. That means there shouldn't be a diagonal in the actual options, in the one that matches it. But obviously when I tried that out, it gave me no actual result, meaning I have to sort of scratch that and try something else. And that, that is the case here. For example, you've tried all of these options. So mops and never sneaks snacks into a crowded picnic. You tried them all and you come to maybe only two options left. What's probably happened is, is you've probably used a rule that actually isn't part of the rule system. For example, what I did with the, with the diagonal and the angles. So this section really, it was a mistake using that. So hopefully that makes sense though. It also shows you how you can come to a an answer. If you have unlimited time, you should be able to come to an answer to any of these similarities questions, basically. Right? If you use the right system, you'll get it. Um, obviously, you won't have this much time to do it, though. So you want to be able to catch these quicker, um, and that only comes with practice, where you can actually use this system without needing to write it out and stuff like that. But hopefully, that is useful and um, helpful.